today is my first tag video and I am starting off with my favorite YouTuber, Jacqueline Hill. I think around last week she started a new tag called the Ride or Die tag that includes all the makeup products that are basically your ride or die. So I thought that was a great idea and I wanted to make one of my own. Let's get started. And I'm going to pull up her video so I can see what the questions are. And she didn't mention that if there are any other products that we want to add, we could do that. So I might just do that. I'm not too sure yet. Not find anything. So I'm calling it the ride or die tag. I tag all of you. I can't wait to see your ride or die products. I'm going to go ahead and list the questions down below in the bottom bar. If you guys want to add anything in, you totally can. Make this challenge and this tag your own. She's adorable. So I'm going to start off with my ride or die primer. My favorite primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This primer is so silicone and smooth, it goes just beautifully on my pores and it fills in any lines that I have and this keeps my oil at bay which is amazing because I get very oily on my T-zone so this primer I cannot live without. I've tried a ton of other primers and I just go, keep going back to this one so this is my ride or die. Next up is my Ride or Die foundation and my favorite foundation is the Saffo Cosmetics Organic Foundation. Now you don't see me using this a lot because this foundation is super expensive. It's for $52 for this little bottle but this foundation, one, smells amazing, two, never breaks me out, three, is the most natural looking foundation that I've ever seen. This is an organic foundation so this is perfect for sensitive skin like mine does not give me any kind of breakouts whatsoever. I do like the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation and that's mostly what I use. Whenever I have to get a little more natural, flawless look, I always go for this foundation. This is by a makeup artist based in Vancouver. Whenever I go on the website, these are always sold out. Another reason that I don't use this a lot in my videos. Next up is my favorite concealer and my favorite concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is a sample size concealer. I couldn't find my full size. This is in the shade medium to light neutral. This concealer is so lightweight and so thin and that's what I like on my skin. I used to use the NARS Creamy Concealer and at first I loved it but then I realized how thick it is and how it sets in my lines and how cakey it can get sometimes. This concealer is so easy to set too, so I love this concealer. Next up is the setting powder for under eye concealer and I was so happy to find out that Jaclyn Hill and I have the same ride or die uh, no setting powder and this is the RCMA no color powder and like Jaclyn, I bought it because Kathleen Lights raved about it and I'm so happy that I bought it. It's only $10 for this huge bottle and this sets my under eye so well. I mean, I have no words. Next up is my favorite face powder. My favorite face powder, at least, is a cheap one and it's from the drugstore. And it's the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Maybelline Face Powder. It's in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is all I have on my face right now. And as you can see, this does cover up quite a bit if I use it alone. I really like how this stays on my face all day. And I wouldn't say that this helps with my oiliness. It is a powder, so it I do have to apply a primer underneath. This is perfect for the days when I'm just running out to the grocery store or just going out of the house for no reason. Moving on to the eyes, my favorite kind of eye primer is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Again, I used to use the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, but I realized that that used to crease up into my eyes a lot. I have eyelids that are very folded, so I need something that is very lightweight. It does help to intensify my eyeshadow as well, so that's great. Okay, next up is my favorite eyeshadow palette, and, but of course, my favorite eyeshadow palette is Too Faced the Chocolate Bar. One, it smells like chocolate, like, can it get any better? And two, it has a lot of shades that you would normally want in a palette and plus it has really huge highlighter shades as well that most of the palettes don't. So I really like that it has a brow bone and inner corner shade as well in it. Some shimmer shades, some matte shades, different colors. This definitely is staying with me forever. Next up is my favorite eyeliner. 
Okay, I do have the Inglot gel pot as well, but it dries on me and I know you can buy like an Inglot little oil that you can use with it so it doesn't dry. But then I feel like there's so many eyeliners out there, why would I buy two different things from Inglot that is pretty expensive. So my favorite eyeliner surprisingly is from Star Looks. I, I think I got this eyeliner in a BoxyCharm long long time ago, but they stuck around so well for me. This has the most amazing tip. It gives me so much control and I can always make an amazing wing liner with it without shaking or anything like that. Plus the formula is really black that I like. It kind of stays on too the whole day so I have no problems with this and I keep using this and I will buy another one once I run out of this. Next up is my favorite kajal pencil. I don't know if Jaclyn Hill had that in her video but I wanted to include it because it's such a big part of my makeup routine. My favorite one that I love to tight line with is the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner pencil. This isn't exactly kajal. I love using it in my waterline or tight line with it. It's the most blackest black and it's creamy too which is amazing. Favorite eyebrow pencil, any guesses? It's the Anastasia Beverly Hill brow definer. This has a spoolie, it has an edged pencil that works really well in the corners. It's creamy, it works really well every time I use it. And it stays on the whole day so I really have no complaints about it and this works really really well for me. Next I have my favorite mascara and it's by Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This works so wonderfully for me. I mean I have so many other mascaras and I do like some of the other ones too like the Benefit They Are Real Mascara, the Perversion Urban Decay Mascara, I like those too but for some reason I feel like the spoolie of this one, one, works really well for my eyelashes and it gives it volume and length as well which I feel like is a problem with some of the other mascaras. I don't like just really long eyelashes. I need like volume as well like make some fake eyelashes right around there because I have very thin eyelashes and I don't have many so I need that support. So <laughs> this Too Faced mascara does that for me so I love it. What's next? So I'm gonna go on to the face. Usually I don't bronze that much but if I have to bronze my favorite bronzer these days is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Again because it smells like chocolate. So that it's very smooth and it's a very nice color that complements my skin tone. I used to love the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster but I feel like now that I've started using this that was a shade too dark for me so I love using this and it goes on very smoothly. Love this. Next up is blush and this was so hard for me because I love blushes. So I recently bought the NARS cheek palette from the Nordstrom sale. If you haven't checked out that video I've done a whole swatch video of the whole palette. Uh, I'll link it down below or somewhere around here. Uh, make sure that you check that out. This is what it looks like. It's the most amazing palette. It has all the favorite NARS uh, blushes and my favorite one from this is the Luster blush. This is such a unique blush. It's it has a it has a very apricotty color and it's it's not exactly brown but it it has like a terracotta color in it and it looks amazing on my cheeks and I love this one. I thought my ride or die is gonna be the Luminoso from Milani or Orgasm from NARS but it's not. I really really like unique colors and I feel like Luster does that for me. Favorite highlighter, the Benefit WhatsApp highlighter. It's a cream highlighter so I'm not one of those people who goes crazy with their highlighter. I like a very nice subtle shine on my cheeks or on my nose or above my eyebrow that too at the night I don't really go crazy with it so this one is perfect for that this is such a light champagne color that complements my skin so well and I love this go to my favorite part of the makeup that is lips um, this was so hard to choose I mean I have so many lipsticks that I would love to include all of that in this video but I can't if I have to choose one ride or die lipstick, I would actually die because I really like so many lipsticks that I have. But again, just for the sake of this video, I am going to choose one. So I'm going to start off with lip liner and my favorite lip liner is from Ofra. Um, again, I think I got this in a boxy charm. It's the shade Glacier Pink. The shade is like a mauve shade but it adjusts so well on your lips and whatever you put on it, it gives it 
it gives it a boost of color which is amazing sometimes i love to wear this lip liner just on its own if i had to choose one lipstick which was so very hard I chose Kat Von D um, Lolita 2. I was so happy to see that Jaclyn Hill chose Lolita as well, which which is which is a slightly lighter color than this. But for an everyday nude, I like a rosy brown color, and this is what fits the bill for me. I love this color. I love this formula. Everything about this is just amazing. And last but not least, my favorite setting spray is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It's an oil-free setting spray, which works really well for my oily skin. I wanted a setting spray that makes sure and helps my primer to keep my oil inside of my face. So this works really really well with my Smashbox primer and I think I am running out on this so I need to get another one. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tag video. I really enjoyed doing it. It was fun to pick out the ride or die products from all these different samples or products that I have. And please subscribe to my channel. I have so many other ideas and videos coming up that I'm sure you're gonna like. And if you don't mind, please follow my Instagram blog as well. I will link it down below. I love to do some bonus tutorials on it and some different things and share my shoes and my clothes and my OTD. I would love to know what are some of your ride or die makeup products and if we have any similar ones that would be so awesome. Because you know you're always wondering am I the only one who loves this or you know everyone else thinks it's good too so I would love to know to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Hopefully you'll like some of them and hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel too. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye guys.